Okay, right, what's up, Tracy? Hey, dude. Good, good. <laughs> what do you want to get? Dude, definitely almond croissant. All right, we're gonna go with two almond croissants. Yeah. Coffee with um, oat milk? Uh, small or large? Oh, uh, small, please. Sure. Got coffee, we got the almond croissant. Gonna go with Chicago's fish fry at 77th. All right, guys, so welcome to Skipper Surf Review. We're here at Beach 77th in Rockaway Beach, New York. So we came to check out fish fry event. So it's all about like fishes and um, let's see what the guys have, what they brought today. Uh, just follow me. But, uh, wow, hey, up, Yuri. Man? How are you? Good to see you, man. How you living? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 really it's good. About the moment. I know. Like super clean. Like, <laughs> 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 but I think it's dates wrong. Yeah, like, you get the name wrong. Oh, it's a lie. Yeah. Nice one. I don't know if it's a good day to try it, but actually you can probably go. So many boards. So beefy. That's like a 12 foot board. Right? I don't even know. Like if you can, I don't think you can turn it for it. Oh, that's the uh, raspberry and fish. It does. It does. It's not like, it's kind of all or nothing. So handsome. That looks nice. Pretty light. So, it feels like kind of more performance board. But, uh, good day to try today. Books. All right, Chris. What's up, Yuri? Hey, can you tell us more about this event? Yeah. About the fish fry? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this started um, the fish fry. The real, the first one was in San Diego, I think, in 2003 or 2004. Uh, and it was uh, actually they, they they grilled fish, talk made fish tacos on the beach, and it was like Joe Roper, um, um, trying to like I think uh, Ken Lewis. Skip, I believe, was there. A um, bunch of bunch of San Diego legends um, just got together to kind of celebrate the fish design. Richard Kemvin, um, and they were riding old fish, skips, lisses, um, and that was sort of like the beginning of like the of people like come rediscovering the, the the twin keel fish around the around the uh, early 2000s. And um, we kind of adopted it here. I think in 2007 was the first time we did it. Uh, and it was just a grassroots thing, it was just a group of friends that were like, hey, let's all bring our fish down to the beach and hang out and ride each other's boards and share and um, share waves. And um, it ended up being like a pretty decent sized crowd. And it's never been sponsored by anybody or affiliated with any one surf shop or anything like that. It's really like meant to be for everyone. And there's backyard shapers and guys that are, you know, just kind of, you know, um, novice shapers that are doing it for themselves and for the fun of it and they come out there's people who are here today that are, uh, came from Rhode Island Jock came from Rhode Island brought these beautiful boards that he's been shaping up there Charles Mansell from uh, New Jersey uh, there's a poem um, there's storyteller uh, a bunch of amazing labels that are shaped right here in Rockaway Joe Falcones uh, Paul Colbert I mean, it's it's insane. So, you know, in the years since, like the number of people who have um, started shaping here um, on a first for for their personal, you know, sort of like interest, and some for you know a, a living. Uh, it's kind of amazing. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty sick event. It's good to do it more. I know, I know. Well, it's just fun to see all these designs together. I mean, Christopher too is a shaper. That's. Uh, making beautiful boards in, in, in New York and yep. um, edge boards. It's just nice to get ev this everyone together in one place and like let them uh, you know, share uh, insight and ideas and try each other's boards. Um, yeah, it's so special, man. You know, it's really also just gets people talking. Sometimes when you go out and you paddle out, you're kind of in a, in a, in a state of mind where you just want to get waves and you don't want to have a conversation. It's not social um, and you end up kind of like building like these sort of like territorial lines around 
who you know just so you can get waves. That's your crowd, that's my crowd. My crowd, <laughs> right. And this is a way of just kind of like breaking through all of that. Um, and it's for anybody. Bring it to like more human level and, uh, you know, to have fun and share, share the waves. Totally, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's, it's for everyone. It's, a, it's, it's, it's been a really fun thing to see evolve over the years. Some years we get skunked. Some years the waves are like knee high and barely rideable and there's still, you know, 40 people here. That was you know? a good call. Who actually made the call? Um, we kind of like have a, like a little uh, group of people who are kind of part of the original um, uh, crew that started this. And, you know, we, we always do it, the tradition has been the weekend after Mother's Day. Uh, it's the perfect kind of window between the, the beginning of the summer, you know, and Memorial Day weekend. Uh, it doesn't disrupt Mother's Day. Uh, the water's still kind of on the cusp of being too cold. Yeah. Uh, this fog situation, I think we've had like four or five fish fries where the conditions have been exactly like this. Uh -huh. This is probably one of the best in terms of like wave quality that we've had, honestly. Um, we've had it's a few- It's not too big, it's like, not too small. It's kind of really fun zone. Two, it's two, three, four occasionally. It's perfect, like, yeah. perfect for, for a fish. And a lot of waves too. It's like a short period swell. Yep. And, uh, coming it's <laughs> very it very often it's it yeah it's it's i it's ideal for something like this because everyone can get a wave and um yeah you can ride anything you can ride a charles brought these insane nine six uh you know fish simmons bottom twins uh you can ride a five foot mini simmons you, you know you can ride that full range of a board right now and have a good time yeah, this is amazing yeah it's super fun i mean this is right up your alley man <laughs> there's so many good boards here uh so many good so many good surfboards it's like I wish I had the energy to try every one of them. Uh, this is a, uh, a, a, a rainbow Rich Pavel um, uh, speed dialer from uh, our first shop. It's probably from, I'm gonna guess that's from like 19, uh, from uh, 2008, 2009. Has the lockbox fin system, uh, which are no longer. And uh, those are Marlin Bacon 101 bamboo uh, canard quad cutaways. Like that's that board's gonna come back into the world. The, the quad fish is gonna be. Oh, I fondled it. Yeah, it feels so good. That those boards work incredibly well. They're they're really really good boards, and that that fin setup too um, works great. Those templates. <laughs> what it is is a it's a keel. When you if you put the the two together, it's a keel. It's uh -huh. The same thing as a get part keel, same shape. Yeah. Um, he, he Rich just Split broke it. them broke You're them apart, uh -huh. and then put that little cutaway in there to kind of let the let the tail release a little better. And it's fantastic. Nice. This is a this is my Stevie that he made me a few years ago. Mike Mansburn's up there. He's got uh, an incredible list. Um, that Mike was one of the first people in New York to get some list fish. Great man. But, uh, yeah, that's a that's that's Kauri. That's uh, my that's my Josh Hall. Family still. Exactly. I, I don't know why I sold this board, but I, I don't know why I sold this. I should never sold it. But yeah, this is this is a really good one. Shoot that moonlight. Uh, a lot of people have written this board too. It's been a, been a good one. This was from when uh, Richard Kevin's wife Michelle and I and Richard were surfing in Montauk and this guy dropped in on Michelle and on a two plus one uh -huh. <laughs> longboard and shot the fins into the rails. But I love stuff like that. Like I really hope I folded the fin over and this fin over in New Jersey completely uh, and got I was getting barreled and got smashed on this wave and I, my ass just folded this over. <laughs> but I love surfboards that have that kind of history and it's still in great shape. Yeah, it looks amazing. This is a really good board. Yep. <laughs> Very uh, skip, skip fry-esque. Josh's, Josh's outline, uh -huh. but yeah, great board. I miss that board. I'm glad it's still, still in the family though. Good one. Awesome, man. Yeah. Thank you so much Dude, for- Dude, get out there, you gotta get some boards. Bye right, guys. So that was a great event. Um, I didn't surf, I was so surfed out, but uh, next time I'm definitely coming and I'm gonna try to ride as many boards as I can. There were like 50 boards pretty much. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for your support. Like, subscribe this video, and I'll see you soon.